Hey y'all, it's Crafty Hope here, and welcome to day 35 of my iCAD. iCAD means index card a day. It comes from Tammy of Daisy Yellow, who's also Gypsy999 on Instagram. I also have a friend in a ficket who is doing mixed media iCAD, and she has some prompts as well as the Daisy Yellow one. So I've got more information about it below. The two prompts that um, I had for today for Daisy Yellow was yellow, and for the mixed media iCAD from Nina was um, mandala. So I pulled out one of my favorite yellow paints, which is saffron yellow from Americana, and I found that I had a mandala uh, stamp. Um, and I think it's just like a cheap one from somewhere. Like it may have come from the um, dollar bins at Michael's or something like that. I don't remember. I don't think it's a super expensive stamp. But <clears throat> I'm still trying to work through my couple of scrap bins. And But I didn't feel like doing a whole lot to this page today. So I really just stuck down. Y'all, that's like two pieces of paper that were big enough to cover the whole card. So I put that down. And while I was sitting there thinking about it, I decided to maybe do some more embossing. I'd done some um, a couple days ago, I think. And so this time I did grab an embossing ink pad and put it down just on top of my collage to, you know, do something with that mandala stamp that I have. And I'm going to put it down in a couple places. And what I was trying to do was have it so that the background was still kind of visible when I add some paint to it. And y'all, I'll go ahead and tell you, this card is not one of my favorite. I mean, it's a fine card. It, it just doesn't feel cohesive enough for me. So anyway, I used that embossing ink pad and y'all, the ultra thick embossing enamel that I had did not stick to that first set of stamps. So I thought for a second and I went ahead and I threw away that, that first one since apparently it doesn't work and got the second one and it was a bit more juicy and it works, but it's still, I don't know. Y'all, I don't do a lot of embossing. I have all the things. I just don't do it much. So I may play with this idea some more later with maybe a different stamp that has um, more coverage or something it might work better than this one with the thin lines so we'll see anyway so I'm putting that stamp down in a couple spots putting down my ultra thick embossing enamel um, and then I will grab my heat gun and heat it up I'm not going to cut all that out because you can kind of see the embossing powder change in this so I was going to let y'all watch that alright so I'm, I think I'm going to clean off yeah clean off my stamp first get some of that sticky off a baby wipe would have been better but yeah I just use paper towel okay so now I'm going to basically heat this up so that the embossing powder melts and yeah I, I, what I wanted what is was it ugh, excuse me what I wanted was for it to act as a resist and it kind of does in the end but not in the way I really really wanted so I don't know if putting down something else first so it didn't all soak into the that vintage paper would have been better or I don't know like I said I may have to play with this later so now that I've got my mandala down I'm like let's go ahead and go and put my yellow down so I guess I've got this Americana paint in saffron yellow and I'm going to go over and around and, you know, get some on the page and then I, I'll grab my paper towel thinking I can just wipe it off of the embossing enamel. And it does a fine job. It's okay. I'll, um, I don't, I think some of the pictures in the end show where you can see how this works. So I, um, yeah, I'm going to move this, this yellow down, trying pretty hard to try to get, I don't know to get that resist feeling to work a little bit better. So, yeah, I'm just going to move that yellow around. Boop. I struggled a bit today. I, um, yeah, like I said, it, it wasn't working the way I wanted, and I had a hard time getting this to come together. And now that I've got it done, I'm like, oh, I could have probably done this or done that. And so that's, that's all for another day. So I've got another paint here. This is a Anita's Acrylic in Hawaiian. I think let me look just Hawaii it's yeah and so I splattered that a little and I'm moving it around and I'm still struggling to try to get that mandala to to kind of pop on there and so I'm trying to force 
texture, I guess, by moving around some of this acrylic paint. Um, in the end, it ends up kind of looking almost like a like a patina on there. So I did dry this. I'm going to add some just some pencil scribbles just to get some more movement back there because I didn't have a whole lot going on other than what's printed on that paper. And I like with pencils to kind of rub on them just to kind of get some of that age and everything on there. And I thought for a little bit, and for some reason the other day, I decided that I should start trying to make little stacks of my scraps in order to like have pieces for focals and things like that. So I thought, okay, well, that's how I'll get some more texture on here is to make a stack of some of the scraps that are in here. And yeah, so that's where I'm going with this. And I'm pulling out just different things. Um, I've got, yeah, something I've punched a, a circle in and some ledger paper. And I think that's some Tim Holtz tissue paper and a piece of lace. And I think I'll grab some other little piece of scrap in there. My battery dies in this process. So I'm going to put everything down here for a second. Um, I think that's, yeah. Anyway, and so I'm going to use this last little piece as my, and I think this is about where my battery died. It was right in here. So I've come back and I'm just grabbing some embroidery floss that's already on a needle up in my pin cushion. I probably think I should have gone for maybe some of that turquoisey Hawaii blue instead of this like pale green, but it's okay. I really just wanted to stick this stack together and felt like I was using up a lot of time and trying to overthink it. And I don't like to overthink these things. <laughs> so I've got that embroidery floss knotted and I'm just going to stitch on three big X's to hold the, this little stack together. <clears throat> a little froggy this morning, y'all. Um, yesterday was the 4th of July and we had a couple friends over and had a good time and I'm, I'm still a little sleepy. So, excuse me for that. Alright, so I am stitching this on, like I said, a couple big X's. I thought that this would add to, and it does. I like this little stack. I think it really kind of makes this card, but... The mandala and the yellow kind of, I don't know. I, I think I just tried to overthink it too much. And that's, yeah. I had another idea, but I, that maybe, maybe we'll try that tomorrow. All right, so I've got this stitched. I'm going to, going to, um, just tie a little knot on the back to finish it off. And when I lay it down, I realize that I don't have enough yellow continuing over on that left side. It felt too stark, so I'll grab my um, yellow paint again, is what I think I'm going to do. Am I looking for something else? Oh, I decided to go ahead and find a sentiment, so I grabbed my small talk stickers and found one that said it's all perspective. And I chose that one partly because it um, um, it fit on that little stack. The first one I chose was too big. But it's also, you know, some people I know are going to like this card and some people aren't. It's all perspective. So to kind of bring the yellow uh, up a little and add some stuff to the side, I just did some finger dots over there on the left and the right side of the card. And I've grabbed my matte gel medium and I'm going to glue this little stack down real quick. Um... I think I'll bring in some oohu just to make sure some of the stuff that didn't get stitched together is, is stuck down a little bit more. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm messing around far too long. Um, like I said, this one just never, it just doesn't feel right to me. And I, I'm still kind of grasping at, you know, what I could have done differently. What would you have done to, to kind of bring this together? Maybe I should have framed it up with some ink. Maybe I should have brought in some kind of image. I don't know. So I felt like my little stack wasn't standing up enough. So I grabbed my Stabilo all in black and just kind of went around the right and lower side. And I, as I'm activating it, it's hitting some of the texture in the mandala. So I thought, ooh, maybe I'll, I'll put some more Stabilo yeah, in there, which I was like, oh yeah, I really love this texture. And I remembered I had rubbed my Stabilo on my desk the other day. So there was still a little bit of that that I got and... I play with it and I like the texture I'm seeing, but as it dries y'all, it just it kind of fades away and it's just like a dark smudge. But, um, you know, 
it is what it is. I can play with this some more later. All right, y'all. I'm going to show you some pictures here at the end. If you like this, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button and come back tomorrow and see what I do for iCAD. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.